don't know the last time we gave an update, um, but he is over 24 hours um, born now. Um, previously, we said that he wasn't crying about anything. He was doing great. Um, we lied. <laughs> it is 4 o'clock in the morning. About to be 5. We ain't getting no sleep in a while. Um, I was just walking around the room with him. My back hurt now. I just cracked my neck. Um, she had been breastfeeding for like three hours. <laughs> I feel like it's never ending. Um, life of parents. Yay. Hey, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> See, I got a little man in my arms. So another update. Um, so this did not go as we expected, obviously. Uh, we are here. Uh, we got to stay another day because um, something happened with, uh, what is it, John, John D? John D, John Diz? Something like that. I cannot remember the name. They only said it once. But, um, so yeah, so they were scared that he might have it because his, his from the three times they checked him, it's been going up. But it hasn't reached the level to where they think it's necessary to take him to uh, NICU. And like, what they do is they, they basically say that they, what they would do is if it was higher, they would take him to NICU and then put him under, um, put him under uh, blue lights, I guess. So it's like, I guess it's like a vitamin, uh, vitamin D, lack of vitamin D or something like that type of thing. Um, so yeah, so we haven't gotten to the point yet to where uh, they need to put him under the lights. So they want to wait again until the morning to see if they need to or not. But I'm like, so he's he isn't high enough to be put under the lights and he isn't low enough to be discharged. So we're here. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, but as far as my mom, she's been discharged from the um, hotel. She's been discharged from the hospital. Um, and they had, they gave us the option to leave, but obviously it's like, why leave when you just gonna have to come back tomorrow anyway to have him, you know, get rechecked or, you know, things like that. So it was like, we might as well just stay. Um, so we are here. Um, she is in, yeah, okay. She's taking a shower right now. She said she was going to the bathroom, so I didn't know if she was taking a shower or what, but she's taking a shower. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 um, he's been eating, he's been pooping. Oh, that was another thing. So, in order to, um, I, I, I don't want to say cure it, because it's not really, like, disease or anything, but, like, oh, there, to get rid of the John, John Do. John, I, I, I mean, I don't, the, to get rid of the, to get rid of it, we have to, he has to um, basically poop it out. So we have to continue to feed him um, more and more. So that way he, you know, he'd be able to use the bathroom more. Um, so today, actually, he's been doing pretty, he, he's been doing good with it. He's been going and going. Um, oh, hey, man. <laughs> my hand's bubbling so I think it's another one coming I mean that's all that's really all they say we can do is he has to poop it out um there's nothing really else that like there's not nothing that they can really give him or you know anything like that it's just he has to poop it out I mean the only other option is the blue lights but because he isn't high enough for that the only option is pooping it out All right, so I don't know where he left off and I don't even know if this is going in the labor and delivery part two or the first 24 hours of the newborn. I have no idea because we've just been vlogging, but um, baby boy's getting a diaper change right now and I'm pretty sure he had a big explosion. So we leaving that to dad.
we should get on it's, YouTube. It's not even my turn. And yeah. So um he's he was a good boy all the way up until he got circumcised. And he just started crying and crying and crying. But we found a new method to feed him because my milk I guess is not enough or I think it's not enough, although they're saying it's fine, but I just start panicking. So I asked for some Simulac, but the soy kind, cause that's like better than all the rest of them, supposedly. And more, it's like organic. But yeah, so he's been having like a little tiny bit of that mixed with my breast milk just to give him a little extra so he can be nice and full and that seems to be working because it seems like we getting it down packed down the first 24 hours are crucial this is for his circumcision gotta add like vaseline on the napkin what what <laughs> Oh my god, I can see it already. Do not get it on his outfit. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. To be continued. As far as me for postpartum, I'll have a separate video, but I'm doing well. I'm not in as much pain as I thought I would be. Come on before you drop in. I love you, you love me. I can't Hi, wait. Stinky. I can't, I can't wait to tell him when he get older, Daddy used to sing to him. That's how he used to Hi, call him Stinky down. Man. He was a stinky man. He is so alert. Like his eyes are like wide open all the time, right? He just wanted to we ain't, sleep. We ain't gonna struggle, right? And he won't wake you up with all the nonsense. I did not wake him up. The way he looks is like he's literally been here before. Why are you always looking like you've been here before? Hmm? Why are you always looking like you've been here before? You just want to sleep and we just keep waking you up. We just keep like playing with him like he's a toy. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like we're so amazed like we made this tiny human you're shaking the thing so amazed so amazed right but yeah so i think he already said this but hopefully we leave tomorrow right don't you want to go home and see your cat I can't wait to see Bendy. Yeah. But yeah, he's falling asleep and we need to be getting some sleep, so we'll catch up with y'all. In the AM or maybe in the middle of the night. Either way, I don't even know what day it is anymore. He said If I look like I'm stressed out and been crying, it's true. We're going home today, but we don't have a baby to um, take home with us. Um, our son has jaundice. No, he doesn't have. Basically, he does have jaundice. His skin is yellow. He doesn't have a bad case of jaundice, but he has it. Wait, this is probably so loud. I need it. But I just wait one second. <laughs> so yeah, he has jaundice and um he has to be put under like this LED light. Yeah, like a light. blue light to like, you know. To help his this so what it is is his his blood cells. So they were saying us as, as adults, our blood cells break themselves down break or something. Down. Cause he busy looking at her ass, but she don't even have one. That's a 
So he, he just broke the neck Exactly. Like, come on, dog. All right. Um. So yeah. So what they were saying was that the uh, us as humans, our blood cells, we obviously lose them, but we're able to replenish them. Him as a newborn, he isn't. He doesn't have that same ability as us. So. The blue lights are to help with the reproduction of his cells or his blood cells, I believe. Um, and if it's not fixed, it can cause like brain damage, yeah. which AKA basically just mean like hearing loss and like different things like that, like more severe permanent issues. Well, I mean, when you say brain, that's everything. So, but the first guy to my brain damage, it made it seem like it was something like, like. I don't know, death almost, or like something crazy like that. But then the other guy, but then the other guy just said like basically kind of like hearing loss. It's like what kind of happens like at the worst. Of it. See, and that's another that's another thing that I didn't like. We had like fifteen to twenty people coming <laughs> to us, literally all saying different stuff. So it's like you got one person who'll come, um, and they'll explain like what John John this is, and then. Uh, what like not even five minutes later somebody like their supervisor will come and be like hey i heard you had some questions like what the guy just asked us if we had any questions and we told him no so i don't know why he told you we had questions <laughs> so it's like it's the weirdest thing and then and so it's like obviously they're they lack communication <laughs> and they i guess it's like a training thing so they train any like i don't know how you train somebody to come tell somebody else something like that just don't make no sense. I don't know, but they don't pay the dads no attention anyway. So that's probably why they, they the supervisor came back. Cause like I was just so emotional, just like one, like the fact that we can't bring him home. We had to stay an extra day in the hospital. Then did you tell him about his weight? But that's normal though. Boy. Um, newborns lose weight after they're born. Like you aren't the same birth weight that you are in the beginning. Like, say if you get weighed at like seven pounds. But you, you was upset about that too. Because it's just like, it dropped again. But that's not, that's not something you can- Like, I didn't again. know it drops twice or a couple times. I thought it was like, yeah. Like that one time Ooh. drop. But yeah, so I was super emotional because one, the fact that he has this, so I'm thinking like, did I do anything? Like, did I cause this? Cause I know, my red blood count what what is it white, wait was it my red blood cells or my white blood cells i forgot something was low my pregnancy and i had to take like pills or something Iron pills? no not that wait no i don't know something was just wrong so um yeah so i'm thinking it's something i did but then everybody said like it's normal and stuff um it's just something that just happens and it can be fixed within hours sometimes days depending but yeah, and then when they took him away, like we barely could say goodbye because the lady just like I have to take him to the NICU and stuff, and it's just like you know I think that was that same lady who came <laughs> who was close as hell to your face, like sorry I have to watch you take these pills. <laughs> like, all right, so like she could have said it from afar, she right away sorry honey, I gotta watch you take these pills. <laughs> like damn, they motion, it ain't like they fucking so sets. Like. It and them Jones only 600 milligrams. <laughs> like, you, you give it one 600 milligram motion, like. Oh my gosh, I cannot with you, like stop. So we're on our way to the NICU. It's like weird filming this. I pumped, so I have to give baby boy some milk. Plus it's visiting hours. You only get to see him two times a day for one hour. But yeah, hopefully this overnight thing works and he can come home in the morning. It's 9 p.m. right now. So the first set of visiting hours is, um, what is it? One to two and then nine to 10 p.m. Oh, okay. I 
this piece. You're wondering why you want to open his eyes.